guy coming back at you. Uh, today we're taking it off of the battlefield and we're taking it uh, into the training room, so to speak. Um, today, the work that I'm going to be doing is uh, Lean Machine Core Stability Part 2. Um, I can't tell you how often having good core stability and balance um, has been beneficial to me as a training athlete or just as a common working man. Um, in any athletic feat, uh, whether you're jumping or running or um, performing a high kick or even, you know, suiting up in armor and, and clashing swords, uh, having good core stability and balance um, is very crucial and important to not only performing uh, the task, but um, good for injury prevention. Um, same thing if you're working and simply unloading a truck or, or stacking bricks, you know. Um, it's uh, very important to, to be able to move around with good balance, especially, especially if you're carrying a heavy load or you're carrying something far away from the body or the ground beneath you isn't the most stable. Um, last thing you want is to, to slip and fall and, and hurt yourself. Um, so good core stability and balance is, uh, once again, very important. And you can take this training and apply it to any, any form of um, you know, athletics or sporting event or um, any, any job, so to speak. So let's uh, go ahead and get right into it. Um, once again, a little disclaimer, um, always consult a physician if you have any uh, injuries or health conditions, health issues that you need to address. Make sure you get the clearance from them before trying to work out like this. Um, anyhow, um, uh, let's, let's go right into it. Uh, as far as warm-ups are concerned, I'm going to do another video uh, coming up soon um, related to warm-ups, uh, stretching and range of motion and stuff. Um, give me a comment if you want to see that. Uh, anyhow, if you have any uh, sort of warm-ups or stretches that you like doing on your own, go ahead and do that prior to this workout. Um, you know, nothing will hurt. It'll, it'll only help. Um, I don't recommend doing too much static stretching, but, you know, to each his own. Gauge your own, uh, your own body. Uh, gauge your own pain index. And, um, you know, if you feel like you're hurting, of course, stop the workout at any time. That goes for any of my training videos. Um, anyhow, we're going to get right into it. Uh, my warm-up for today um, I'm picking two of my favorite workouts that are uh, based around core stability, um, and they are a push-up and um, an inverted chin-up. Um, I recommended um, different ways of doing push-ups. I, I did a push training uh, video previously. If you get a chance, go and check that out, where I ran through the different types of push-ups you could do. And in my pull training, I um, showed how to do the inverted uh chin-ups or inverted rows off of the, the chairs and the bar. I have the setup ready there. I'm going to set that up in a second just to show you. Um, the main thing to focus on these workouts is not so much about the pull or the, the, the push or the pull, um, but actually what your body is doing in the meantime. The core stability uh, especially is, you know, um, is especially important um, throughout, throughout a push-up and your um, chin-ups or pull-ups. Um, if you're under the bar and you're trying to pull and your body's swinging around, it's a lot more work to keep yourself balanced to even get up there. Um, if you're down in your push-up and you're dropping down or you're, you're arching your back too much, it's gonna throw off your, throw, throw off your body's, body's ability to you know, get that push-up going. So uh, in a second, we're gonna go right into it. I'm gonna show you a few variations of push-ups that you could do uh, for different levels, intermediate, you know, beginner, expert. Um, same thing with the uh, inverted chin-up or row. All right, uh, give me one moment and we'll get started. Sorry about that. I had someone at the door. Went ahead and took care of that. Uh, anyways, back into the, wor the workout. Let's uh, do the workout warm-up first. We're going to start with the push-ups. I, myself, am going to be doing them off of my toes and off my hands. Um, but there's different ways to do it if that's a little too intense for you. There's always the... Uh, push-ups off of your knees, you just, you know, plant your knees, you get yourself in a good position, and that's your push-up right there. Uh, the key is to keep your body straight. See how even though I'm on my knees, body's nice and straight. Uh, there's another option that I like, where you can use a chair, or you can use a wall, and you're just going to, you know, plant your hands on your support. And once again, and right here, there's your push-up, got it? All right. Um, those are ways to decrease the intensity of a push-up. Um, for all you tough guys out there, 
Of course, there's weighted vests that you can uh, you know, add on to increase your own body weight, thus raising the intensity of the workout. You can prop your feet up on an elevated uh, platform, like a chair, and keep your hands on the ground and do your push-ups that way. Um, it slightly tweaks, you know, hits your shoulders a little bit more, but um, you still get the advantage of the push. Uh, once again, keep that body stiff as a board through the whole motion, all right? So let's get right into it. Um, I'm gonna focus mainly on my arms today. So for the push-ups, I'm gonna keep a, you know, a little decent grip, a little bit tighter, and we're gonna keep those elbows in. All right, let's begin. Gonna get into position there. Elbows in, and down we go. So that's one. And the two. Get that nose to the ground, get that full extension all the way up. Nose to the ground, full extension all the way up. Nice controlled pace, we're not going too fast. And we're not holding our breath. of the warm-up is not to overdo it so you're not I'm not you know trying to get you out here to do as many push-ups as you possibly can do just enough to get your heart rate up get that body nice and warm get a little sweat going you know and uh, that's your warm-up um, for this particular warm-up for today I would recommend doing two sets I'm not going to demonstrate them both but I showed you how to do the first one next we're going to go into the full motion which is the inverted chin-up and uh, same thing on that, two sets on that one as well. Um, so for now, let me uh, demonstrate some different uh, types of ways that you can do this warm up. Um, behind me, I have the my favorite chair setup, which I showed in a previous video uh, on, a, on my pull day. Two chairs, nice cheap, uh, Piece of pipe for plumbing, about 13 bucks. And just set, set up your rig this way. And in a second, I will demonstrate with myself being under this on how to do the inverted chin up. Um, but first, I'm going to show you another method. Let's say uh, standard chin ups and pull ups are just a little too much for you, you can't handle being on the bar. Uh, with your feet dangling, with all your body weight on your arms. It's very intense. I've been training for years, and I still struggle with pull-ups pull and chin-ups. Um, recently, I've been enjoying doing the inverted option a little bit more, but there is another option. Let's say this inverted option is a little too intense for you. I got one more for you that I'm going to show you. Ready? <clears throat> so what I have here is a pull-up bar with a rope. You know, this is a simple uh, tow rope I got from a local auto parts store. Um, let me just show you that, that set up there. Now this option is great for beginners. I'm gonna get to the point of the rope in just a second. All right, let's say hopping up here and holding your weight is a little too much. You have another option. You grab this pull-up rope, you can get yourself at an angle so your body's nice and straight, and there you go. You pull yourself up and down. And you uh, switch grips as you go, up and down. And that's your pull-up, or chin-up, all right? Nice, simple way to uh, increase, uh, decrease the intensity there. However, for today, I'm gonna be doing the uh, inverted uh, chin-up option. Um, so my playing field is right here. Once again, with the pull-ups or chin-ups or push-ups, any of these body weight exercises you're doing, if you feel like they're not intense enough and you're starting to plateau on your results, go ahead and throw on a weighted vest, you know, and increase the intensity there. So for this workout, I'm gonna keep an in-style in chin-up grip on the bar. So I wanna focus a little more on my biceps. Um, what I like about doing the chin-up is as you extend up forward, you get a nice stretch right here. 
So not only are you getting the advantage of doing the pulling workout, targeting the, the lat muscles in your back and your biceps, but you get a nice stretch as you go all the way down. Let me demonstrate. You're gonna get under this bar, grab hold, plant your feet, and remember, keep that body nice and straight. See, from my knees to my shoulders, straight as a board. I'm just gonna pull myself up and back down. to keep yourself stable. I could definitely feel my core having to engage. This is where we want. Make sure to not hold your breath. Make sure to pull yourself up and get that chin, get the chest to the bar if you can. All from pull though. All from pulling with your arms. You're not, I'm not reaching up with my head. Oops. two sets of the push-up and the uh, inverted chin-up and um, two to three sets depending how you feel for a warm-up I'd only say two sets and with that being said we're gonna get right into the next portion of the workout now this next portion of the workout is very simple well I shouldn't say simple but it's not that intense. I just have a five pound dumbbell. Um, I want you to start with a lighter weight. What we're gonna be doing is a lunging curl press. I'll demonstrate from the side first so you can see. Whatever side that the weight is on, the op opposing side, the opposing leg, is gonna be the one that performs the action. So I'm gonna just step back, come all the way down, come up. As I'm coming up, I'm curling up and pressing out. All right, and then again. Coming up, pressing out. Let me show you from the front. And again, we come up, we curl up, we press out. And again, come up, curl up, press out. I really want you to focus on the front leg on this. That should be doing most of the pushing as you're coming up. Should be supporting most of your weight on that front leg. curl. I want you to keep a hammer style grip. See how my uh, how I'm curling the weight, keeping it in a hammer grip. So this can really target some more of that bicep. All right. Now we're going to switch sides. I'm going to show you from the side view again. Now that the weight is on my right hand, we're going to be stepping back with the left leg. Press up. Curl up, press out. Lunge down. Oops, sorry. Doing the wrong way. There we go. Curl up and press out. Lunge down. Curl up. Press out. Lunge down. Curl up. Press out. What I want you to keep in mind is as you're pressing out, don't just press up straight up ahead, press out in front of you, all right? So once again, let me show you, step back, curl up, press up and out. And again, and up and out. Show you from the front, keeping that hammer grip, and up and out, and down, and up and up. All right, that's the first workout. We're gonna take a quick minute, get some water, catch our breath, loosen up a little more in between, and we're into the next workout. All right, and now for the next portion of the workout, we are gonna be sticking with our nice light five pound dumbbells. And we're going to be um, revisiting 
ability to half squat curl press. So I'll start mainly demonstrating what the bottom half of the body's doing. Coming down into a nice half squat. Try to keep that tailbone tucked under you. Don't do a butt wink. Don't stick your butt out. Tail, tail under you. And kind of arch your back a little bit as you start. And then you're going to press straight up and out as you curl press. Press up with the legs. And then we're going to come back down. Once again, into the half squat position. And we're going to come back up. Curl press out. And down. As you reach back, I want you to go ahead and reach back a little bit. Get those triceps involved. Get the uh, upper portion of your back involved. And press. We're doing a wide grip on this one. Show you from the front. Down we go to the halfway position. We're gonna curl in and press out and up. Once again, down way, down about halfway. Curl and press up and out. And we go, nice slow control pace. We're not rushing through it, we're trying to get the most out of the workout. Control, controlling those weights, commanding those weights. That's what it's all about. And again, and up we go. All right, and that's our half squat curl press. All right, uh, that's just one set. Like I mentioned before, you're going to be doing multiple sets of these at home at your own pace. I'm just doing one to demonstrate. All right, now let's get into the next workout. All right, now for the next portion of the workout, it is once again, yes, a uh, squatting press, but we're going to change it up. I'm going to show you how in just a second. So, for this workout, right here with the weights is my starting position. However, as I squat down, I'm going to extend up into the press and then push myself back up and the weights will come down. And once again, squat down and extend up into the press and come back up to show you from the side view so you can see we're starting right here as you're squatting down give you that good squat nice and deep and push up and come back up for any beginners out there if you can't do a deep squat you have knee injuries or hip injuries go ahead and just continue giving me half squats all right Maybe you're just a beginner and you have the strength to drive out from the deep position. Just those half squats. No shame in doing half squats, all right? But the trick with this one is to push up on the way down. Really forcing out some of that core stability, like I mentioned earlier, and balance. All right. Let's go up onto the... Uh, Next, uh, last and final workout. All right, for this last and final workout, uh, we're coming back to um, a more conventional uh, squat press type motion. This is called a thruster. Um, I didn't invent the name of it, but I'm a big fan of this workout. Um, once again, if throughout any of these motions, your lunges, your squats, you know, on any of these squat presses that we're doing, or the, the lunge curl press, if you can't go um, the full depth, go ahead and just give me half. Or give me less than half. Give me whatever you can. Some people can only do squats down to here. And that's all right. The idea is to gradually build up, you know. Same goes for the guys that find my five-pound weights to be too light. Go ahead and increase the weight, you know, on any of these workouts. Increase the weight of the dumbbells. Throw a weighted vest on. Really give yourself a challenge. All right? So let's get right into the last workout. I'm grabbing my five pounders again, and we're going to go right into the thruster. Uh, the thruster is similar to the previous workout I just did, except when you uh, squat up, when you push up from your legs, you're going to drive up with the press as well. So get into a good position. Weight's right about here in a hammer-style grip. Squat all the way down. Get those elbows to touch the knees, and you come up and push push up and out. All right? Once again, get 
all the way nice and low if you can. If you can only go halfway, we're going halfway. Let me demonstrate a half squat on it. This is a half squat. You come to about halfway with your arms as well. And you press up and out from there. And that's it. It's that simple. Show you sideways. This is a half squat. And up and out. But if you have the potential, you have the confidence to do the full range of motion, please give me that full range of motion. I recommend always pushing your range of motion. It's crucially important to have good range of motion. Nice beautiful day outside. I hear the birds. Great way to start the morning. 